welcome back to this week's episode. Uh, this week, um, I actually got around to making a video that I've been holding out on for a while. Um, even before I stopped making videos, uh, the previous time I had put together these these items to to make a bit of a feature. Um, it's um, yeah, it's, it's I think it's a collaboration between two of my two of my favorite things, comic books and Hot Wheels. Um, usually in their pop culture range. Uh, there's some sort of uh, crossover between the two and these couple of examples I think I feel uh, are when Hot Wheels get it right so not all of the pop culture series uh, featuring comic book covers or art or characters um, are created equal they're not all all that cool uh, but these I think were the exceptions uh, they they were they were done really well uh, I've got a San Diego Comic Con uh, um, item as well which is sort of the the pinnacle of of the crossovers uh, i'll get to that last um the, the others are all i mean most of these are fairly old um they haven't been they haven't been uh ones that i like recently or i like as much as these recently um with this uh latest uh first batmobile offering from the new pop culture range uh, being the exception. Um, I did feature this in a haul video, I think two, two videos ago. So this was, uh, this was the, the, the newer release of this that doesn't feature the figures that the San Diego Comic Con one, uh, uh, did have. Um, there's a, there's a slight, uh, difference in the, in the deco and the design. Uh, not, not too much, but I thought this was, this was actually a pretty good, pretty good, uh, uh version for something that's mainstream um, and not not a Comic Con exclusive, um, it's featured in the uh, uh, just in the panels behind me. It's the first uh, uh, Batmobile featured in 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 the printed comics. Um, didn't didn't last very long. Uh, they they got the um, they changed it up a bit very quickly. Uh, I don't think it lasted more than an issue or, or two, um, and it changed to the more familiar that very first batmobile with the sort of the big bat face um in the front uh changed that very quickly um okay the other ones are the, the older ones um are grab the first first the hot wheel is this one the cool combi from 2021's pop culture it's it was a dc set uh let's see the other cars um to my knowledge, I'm not sure if all of them are on necessarily comic book cover art. I know that the the the, the Unimog, the Mercedes Unimog that features uh, the Superman, uh, that looks like if you look closely, that does look like the uh, the first issue of the New Fifty Two Superman comics. Um, but for the others, I don't know them well enough to say that they definitely are from like exact com uh, comic book covers. Um, but in this case, the John Stewart cool combi is very much so. Uh, that is based on this comic book, which is the Justice League issue six, uh, and this is the John Stewart the variant cover. Uh, so you see an exact match of the Hot Wheels card art and the cool combi, cool combi itself. And I think this is this is properly done. So this is, I like I like it when it's when it's this way. The card art matches the the car itself, and it's uh, and and that in turn matches up with the with the, with the comic book. And uh, as you see, these uh, the two that I have uh, are obviously very popular uh, castings as well. So uh, both vans in this case. So that's the uh, the Green Lantern one, and then to my favorite. My absolute favorite is this. Obviously, you have uh, an affinity to the um, the Dodge A100, uh, an affinity for um, it being one of my my favorite castings. These were all based on the uh, Detective Comics uh, issue number one thousand special editions. These the 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 card art on these and the car art. On these are all based on comic book covers. They're all variant covers for the Detective Comics 
issue number 1000, which is this one. This one was called The Night of the Thousand Batmen. So that's issue number 1000, Detective Comics, and it absolutely perfectly mirrors the card art and the art on the vehicle itself. So these these two uh, some of my favorites in, in, in my whole collection, uh, if, if I'm quite honest. I, I love the matchup. Um, I love the execution on this. The fact that it's one of my favorite castings as well, that, that helps. Um, so, yep, I, and, and I've, I've uh, also uh, favor Batman as well uh, from, from the DC comics. Um, but uh, Cool Combi also done very well. Um, then the San Diego Comic Con one. Uh, so first off, you have I have uh, it's it's one of these reprints that you get in the loot crates. Uh, it's a it's a reprint of Action Comics number one, the first cover featuring Superman. So I'm obscuring the car a bit uh, and featuring the Action Sedan. So this isn't really based on any real car. Uh, the certificate of, of, of authentication that the, of authenticity, sorry, that you get on those loot crates um, comics usually. Uh, so that's a that's a, a pretty famous, and you'll see my Funko Pop uh, based on the same same cover in the background. I did do a feature on that. I'll, I'll link that below. A feature on the whole action comics trifecta, um, the offering from Funko, the loot crate one, and this one, the San Diego Comic Con um, special and this one was I think uh, from 20, 2018 features the action sedan and a little figurine of, of Superman perfectly recreating in a diorama the cover art from Action Comics number one so the glares of it there yeah, put that side by side. Very cool. This was as, as soon as I saw it back back in twenty eighteen, um, I knew this was going to go on the one list very quickly. Uh, I just thought it was it was very cool. Um, I hadn't seen anything like it. Um, they've done a few since, um, are not as well executed in my opinion um, as these. Uh, the ones that they did, uh, that springs to mind, a couple of years ago they did the Star Wars one with the uh, Star Wars issue one where they had the green Darth Vader character car sort of mounted on the front of a comic book uh, cover card. So so the whole card was sort of the front of the, the, the original comic book. Um, they also did a Ghost Rider one, although that one I'm not a hundred percent sure if that was based on a specific cover, uh, but it was very similar. It's similar to this one where uh, he sort of the the figure and the, and the, the motorcycle protruded from the from the package uh, in sort of a 3D effect. Um, but this one where they recreate the whole like the whole cover, uh, that's that's pretty cool. I thought, uh, it's one of my one of my favorites. There's a bit of information on the back as well. Uh, if you do want to pause it, pause the video to read that. Uh, I still have it uh, stashed away in its original box as well. Uh, one of my favorite items in my collection. Uh, okay, I'll flash up a couple of other uh, notable mentions, um, mostly from the Marvel side of it. I, I tend to favor DC Comics. Um, it's per personal preference, and, and like these, um, I've, I just felt that the, the execution on these, on the DC Comics ones, um, have been have been a bit better. Um, I, I'm pretty sure that's that's not intentional. That's probably just a, a coincidence. But since I do favor DC, um, I really like these uh, little uh, little collaborations that they do. Um, like I said, with with these, um, I'm hoping there are more to come. Uh, with the new pop culture ones, I'm actually quite looking forward to uh, that the latest set is going to feature uh, the MTV, was that the MTV van, I think, and the, Be the Beavis and Butthead car. That's, uh, I don't know how I'm going to smuggle that into the house. Um, 
past the wife, but uh, yeah, uh, that's 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 <laughs> that's those are proper pop culture references, and and that's that's what it should be like. That's I like I like the way they are handling some of it. Some of it, uh, you know, you know, can't can't win them all. You don't you don't have to like the whole series. Uh, some of the Gran Turismo ones, um, I think it's reused and rehashed a bit a bit much. Um, but I mean. For other people, for people that, that started out gaming with Gran Turismo, that, that holds a, a special place for them. So there's a piece of nostalgia in, in those for them as well. So, uh, yeah, uh, something, something for everyone, I suppose. Um, okay. That's it for this week. Um, I'll see you again next week. Uh, keep well, keep safe. Cheers.